Knocking on Heaven's Door. It's a classic, written by Bob Dylan, sung by lots of different groups and people. It's an easy song and a great one if you're just learning guitar. It uses four chords and repeats the same pattern over and over. But regardless, easy or hard, it's a good sounding song. Let's do this. Hi there, I'm Thomas from Real Guitar Success. We're gonna start out with the basic chords I'll add some strumming, show you the chord progression, and then we'll put it all together and even give you some tips to spice it up at the end. So we'll start off with a four finger G chord. Now there's a reason I'm using this form of the G. So you can use another form, but try this and you'll see as we go along, it moves very well between these chords. Now I'm using a D chord, and there's the first movement. Notice how I kept the third finger right there on the second string, third fret. And I just moved my first and second finger over and took my pinky off. Really flows well from that G chord. The next chord I wanna show you is a form of C chord. And I'm just gonna take these first two fingers, leave the third finger there again, and move it over to the fifth string and the fourth string. I've got my second finger on the third fret of the fifth string and first finger on the second fret. Now, you can put the pinky down, but I want to save that for later for some of the spicy stuff. Technically called a C add nine. We'll just call it the form of the C chord for now. And finally, an A minor. Now this one, I kind of got to switch everything around. It's the first finger on the second string, first fret, and then the second and third finger go together on the fourth and third strings. The bass note's right there on the fifth string, A minor. So try through those chords. If any are new, spend a little time on it, fingering it, getting used to it. I usually have students kind of finger the chords several times and then strum them, see how they sound, and do that until they can put all the fingers down pretty much all at once. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if you're struggling with the chord, it's gonna be hard to add a strum and the chord progression. Let's go on to the strumming. To start out, I like to have students start out with just playing a chord per bar. So that's one strum. Now this one gets two bars, so we're gonna strum that twice. Then again, G to D, and this time to that C form. And again, twice, because there's two bars there. Try that with me, just this far. Start with the G chord, and don't worry if it doesn't sound perfect. D chord, now to the A minor, and do that again. Not bad. Come on, play along. Those of you who are holding back, don't hold back. This is the way we do it. G, D, and now the C twice. Just that first and second finger move. Third finger stays where it is. Okay, now another form of strum that you can go up to is to strum twice each bar. And this is easing towards a more complex strum. It would sound like this. Right? A minor. And there's four strums because that's two bars. Twice, twice, and now the C gets four strums. And then finally, here's a strum that sounds a little more full. We're gonna add to that last strum. It's like this, down, 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 up. Down, 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 up. You could count it like this. One, two, three, four, and one, two, Try just that strum with a G chord. Ready, go. G, down, down, up, down, down, down. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so with the progression, it would sound like this. D to A minor. G, D to the C. Now let's map out those words and the chords together. I want you to play along with me, but use any strum, any of those three strums that suits you for right now. So if it's just straight down, one on chord, that's perfect. Let's start with the G chord. Here we go. Ready, play. Mama, take this badge from me. I can use it 
Progression. Go ahead. Ready, play. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door. Two bars A minor. Back to G. Knock, knock, knocking on heaven's door to the C chord. Now I'm going to show you a couple little licks that you can use to spice things up a little bit. The first one, I call it the pinky lick. On the A minor chord, and you can do the same thing with the C, we're going to put that pinky down every now and then on the third fret of the first string. So it could sound something like this. Down, down. doesn't have to be exactly like that. You can add it in now and then to add some color to the song. So something like this. Now watch it with the C, same thing. Pinky. <laughs> so on. That's a fun lick that you can use in a lot of songs. And I'd recommend that you kind of experiment with it and see where you could use it. Now, another lick you can do is to open up the second finger on that D chord. And it could sound something like this. Down, 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 up, down, down, up, down. Just adds a little movement to the chord. And again, this is a lick you can use in a lot of ways when you play the D chord. Thank you for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you in another video. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do that now. I'd love to have you as part of our community. Bye for now.